on this side, and that's happening. This side, we're coming over to this other side. There is a firework that's being thrown at the police. Wow! Big firework just popped off. People are very upset out here. The police are surrounded as well. Caught on tape moment that caused national controversy. Latasha Ned was arrested back in September after videos emerged of her declaring, quote, open season on crackers and suggesting people start walking up on untrained police officers and stealing their weapons. She says the videos were selectively edited and never meant for public consumption. Here's a clip. They've been coming for our throats. They've been coming for our lives. They're killing our women, saying that they committed suicide. They're killing our unarmed men for no reason at all, for petty crimes or nothing at all, for traffic stops. Your tail light out and you getting killed. Latasha and her attorney are with us in a moment, but first, Trace Gallagher has more on her arrest. Trace? Megan, a county judge ruled that when Natasha Led was seen brandishing a gun and a machete and saying it's open season on killing cracker cops, it was enough to move criminal charges against her to a superior court. But now Ned and her attorney say she wasn't threatening cops or white people. She was threatening a group that hacked into a chat session she was having on Google. She claims the very same group stole her videos, edited them, and posted them out of context on the Internet. Listen. I maintain that I have the right to defend myself from these hate-filled rants from this group and their supporters. At no point did I ever want to kill or hurt law enforcement officers, and the unedited version of these videos will prove that fact. Except she and her lawyer never do explain how the statements kill crackers, take a gun from a cop day, and take over police stations were taken out of context. Latasha Ned, you'll remember, is part of the FEO flag movement, an offshoot of Black Lives Matters. And though she now claims that she never threatened white people while she was being led into the police car and asked, did you threaten to kill white people? She reportedly responded, quote, well, they killing us. Watch. All I did was say defend yourself against people that want to kill us. That's all. I never said anything more than that. I never said anything more than that. So I'm being a...
four words. They've been repeated at rallies, painted on signs, and brought thousands of protesters' hands into the air ever since the August killing of unarmed team Michael Brown at the hands of Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson, when eyewitnesses initially said this. He puts his hands up like this, and the cop continued to fire. Put his hands into the air, being compliant, and he still got shot down like a dog. Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Those four words, along with the Black Lives Matter movement, traveling across the country, not only via rallies, but also through the news media and pop culture. The St. Louis Rams causing an uproar among police after several players take the field with their hands in the air. And it has had staying power. Even months after the grand jury decision, Pharrell turns his hit Happy into a dark performance, incorporating the tagline at February's Grammys. Hands up. The words echo through Congress, too. Some assuming it is true that Brown actually had his hands up. For others, it is a symbol. We want you to know that our hearts are out there marching with them. Here at CNN, a panel of commentators moved by the protests put their own hands up after the grand jury decision. Some people celebrated it, but others were outraged by the continued use of the phrase. The St. Louis Rams think it's cool for them to suggest that St. Louis cops shoot young black men who had their hands up in the air when we know that that was a lie? It's a lie. Washington Post writer Jonathan Capehart concluding this week that hands up, don't shoot is, quote, built on a lie. In fact, a Department of Justice report concluded that evidence contradicts eyewitness claims that Brown had his hands up. Black lives matter. Now, as protesters call for justice, some are phrasing it differently. Black lives matter. Trying to be reasonable. We are trying to We are trying to be reasonable. We are trying We're going to give you We're going to let you on the mic. We're going to give you the mic. Well, after Senator Sanders, after Senator Sanders, after Senator Sanders. After Senator Sanders. All right. All right. We're, sh we're, sh we're shutting it down. You are a shutting it down. You are disrupting this event. You are disrupting this event. Really, how how so? Why does white life have value? Well, I think my for who? What? No, excuse me. For who? Our argument is that white life is wrong. Why? Our argument is our argument is that we should never affirm white life. That. Your well, argument of just affirming all life, life in general life. is not good, especially not good for black people when white life itself is based okay, off of black people. Why should we affirm my life? You're probably white. I am white. Why shouldn't we affirm my life? I don't say why I have to care about your life anyway. There's no ethical reason as to why white people deserve uh, to live. For in black life means that means that white death has to occur. That's why uh, you should lose this debate and why your life ain't worth affirming. Can I put myself like under your arguments? Sure. Okay. Uh, so should Odie kill himself? I don't see why not. Uh, why, why should we do that? How does that help? It's ethical. How is it ethical? We're all, we all have some form or another of privilege. Why does that mean we kill ourselves? Because you have white privilege. Why, why does having white privilege necessarily mean I should kill myself? Why shouldn't I like struggle against the structures? That sure, struggling against the structure means putting yourself on the line, putting your body on the line. Do it. Affirm your suicide. That's cool. Yeah, that's very good. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's one little form. It's one.